what wins? The Lily Go T deck or the Lily Go T Pager? Now, these are both devices often compared to each other, where the T deck Pro V2 must be what it's called. There's so many versions now. This is the newest version. And I've heard everybody, they're saying, this is better, this is better. But I have both in hand. So which really is better? The Lego T deck or the lower T, lower pager? Let's find out. Now, there are a few different things to compare with these devices, okay? So what we're going to be testing is which has the longest range, which is the best firmwares, and then other stuff, like which is easiest to use, which is better quality, and really just which one's better for off-grid communication. Because that's really what we're going to be using this for. Yeah, you could go ahead, toss Bruce on here, and do Wi-Fi and BLE attacks. But with the LoRa antennas, obviously mesh-tastic, that type of stuff, mesh core, is really what you're going to want to do. So, let's start with the test. Now, it is kind of biased, okay? When it comes down to range, of course the T-Deck is going to win. And, I mean, obviously, this has the SMA antenna, so you could toss a five-foot antenna on here if you want to. Get crazy range on here. Now, when it comes down to the T-Laura pager, you're just stuck with those little pop-out antennas. These, you're not going to be able to switch them. If you do, you're going to destroy the build and kind of defeat the purpose of having this low-key and be able to slide into your pocket. So, of course, the range is going to be pretty decent. When it comes to the T-Deck, the T-Deck takes the point for this. Next, we're going to be seeing which has the best firmware. And, well, yes, with the T-Pager, you can get Launcher on here. And then you could get Bruce, Mesh-Tastic, Mesh-Core, Black Hat. There are a bunch of different firmwares out there for both of these devices. When it comes to Mesh-Tastic for this device, it's the older version. It's not the new one with the G with the map and the cool menus and the mesh detector. It's just sending messages, and that is it. When you get to the T-Deck, you could have all the different launchers and all the stuff. And you'll have your Mesh-Core. You'll have all the different, the new Mesh-Tastic firmware. So, T-Deck is going to have to take the point again. Two to one. Now, which is more accessible? I guess is another question we have to ask. Yes, with the T-Pager, you put this in your pocket, it's this little thing. And it's basically the same with the T-Deck, other than the antenna. And there are different antennas, of course. But really, when it comes down to using it, okay, you could type on this one really good. It's just like a BlackBerry-type keyboard with a little trackball, which is nice. Not only that, though, is it's touchscreen. So this is going to allow you to do a lot of your stuff a lot easier. You can just tap it if you want and do the different stuff you're going to have on here. When it comes down to the T-Pager, this thing is not touchscreen. So the only way to move is with this little scroll wheel. And yes, the scroll wheel is nice, but sometimes when I'm scrolling on here, I'll skip it or few, and I'll just want to tap it. I feel like touchscreen would be very useful in this. With the wider keyboard, too, it's very unusual. I have a bunch of BlackBerry-type devices with my Hackberry Pi. So I'm used to typing on a keyboard built like this. But when it came down to the T-Pager, it really just was funky. Another thing to talk about is which has better build quality. I'm putting these into the same thing because with the T-Deck, it's hard plastic. And, I mean, you're not going to be doing anything to this. So, obviously, even the buttons are really high function, really nice quality. When you get to the T-Pager... These buttons are the most jankiest things. What the heck? These things are the most jankiest things in the world. For once, they're not clamoring around. I may have been able to fix that. But when you get this stock, these things are f jumping all over the place and really not good quality. So I'd say it has to go to the T deck again. But hold up, hold up. The T Laura Pager will get one point, and that is for add ons. Now, you may be like, wait, Leah. It actually has GPIO built into it. So there's a CC1101 add on you can put on here, NRF24. And well, yes, you have to buy these other accessories that make it stick out like this. It does allow it to be more used in different ways than the T deck that just has like a, these UARTs in the side where you could plug in and attach different accessories that way. So that, <laughs> so that is one point for the T Laura Pager. Which one do I recommend? I mean, obviously, it was three to one. And it's not just about the points or whatever, but I've genuinely been using the T-Deck because the firmware is better and it is more easy to use. Not even for beginners, just in general, when you're using these different devices. 
I also do think that the T deck looks more appealing, especially with the backlit keyboard than the T pager. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments. Another thing, this thing has GPS. But that is it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord, ages 13, 17 below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.